Hi there, in this video I'm just going to give you an update on what's been happening with my solar panels in May 2022. This was the second month of me having solar panels. So I just wanted to tell you what's been going on. Well, May the 11th we actually started to get paid for our export through Octopus. If you want to see uh, a video on how to set that up, check out this video uh, as I go through kind of... Uh, all of the different seg kind of options and how to apply and all that etc etc uh, other than that uh, we still haven't got the battery uh, it's our second month without the battery uh, we have obviously getting paid for it and i have installed um, the my energy eddy that i mentioned in the last video when i went through the month of april and now we've got full kind of data for the month of May with um, using the Eddy and all of the great My Energy app software. So I'll be showing you some graphs and data from that as well. Right, let's start with having a look at the Solar Edge graph for the month of May. So this was the month of May. Um, system production in total was 738. If I just show you in comparison to uh, April, April's was 730, so eight more kilowatts for the month of May, so slightly better uh, than the month of April. Most of the days, give or take three or four or five or six, were above 20k, 20 um, kilowatts there. Uh, Anything above 20 is pretty good, really. It was just the odd days where it probably rained. May the 11th was quite bad. That was 9 kilowatts was generated there. Otherwise, I mean, the worst day in April was about 4 kilowatts. So in comparison, the worst day of 9 kilowatts isn't too bad, to be honest. And then we've got uh, the others are really kind of 14s uh, and a 12 there as well. So they were kind of the worst days in May. So overall, I think pretty good and slightly up on April, which is good to see. So this is the uh, My Energy app on my phone. So this is for the month, this is the last month because currently it's just, we're just into June now. So last month of May shows that the consumption of what I consumed in the house was 577. Now I said before, the average sort of consumption for the house is about 14 kilowatts. So 14 times uh, 31, 434. So we consumed a little bit more, but probably because we were getting it free through solar. We generated 706. Uh, that's what the My Energy um, app says. Although I made it 738 coming through the Solar Edge. So the Solar Edge was reporting a little bit more generation um, than the actual My Energy uh, app was. If we go down the bottom here, you can see imported on the grid. We imported 179 so at the moment we're on a default tariff of 29 pence so if I times that one by 179 gives us 51 pounds 91 so we spent about 50 pounds in May on electricity and we exported 309 now we didn't get paid for all of that but if we did because we didn't start getting paid till about the 11th of May but if we did uh, uh, seven and a half pence or octopus that's 23 pounds so you know we did not spend a lot on electricity in may probably about 35 pounds something like that and obviously that doesn't include standing charge or gas of course but we didn't use any gas but we did have to get pay gas standing charge this screen although very small uh, in the performance history for last month does show you what you used um in kind of red and then it shows you what you generated in green and also what you exported in yellow going underneath the line. And I hope you can see here that we were trying to use as much energy as possible when we weren't getting paid for it for the export before May the 11th. Although sometimes you can't help, you can't use it all. Some has to go out the door. Um, but after May the 11th, we basically then knew we were getting paid for it and we kind of just let it go. Basically, if anything was, we weren't going to try and use it. We used it if we could, but if we couldn't, we weren't too worried because we were getting some money for it. Again, the battery's not here at the moment. This is just solar panels. 
On the bottom of the screen here you can see that the eddy during the month used 159 kilowatts so we didn't pay to heat our water in May at all. Eddie did all the work of uh, heating our water and it's been a very rare day if we haven't had hot water. I think once so far when it's been a really gloomy day it hasn't had chance to kind of reheat itself through solar but other than that so far it's been uh, heating our water quite nicely. Here's just a snapshot of May the 10th basically showing what the grid history was so in the yellow you can see what was exported going below the line and then you can see what is above the line in red of what, what we use and through the night from midnight to about six in the morning it's really clear then to see the uh, fridge coming on every kind of hour and a half um, which uses electricity and you can even see spikes in the morning at breakfast time when the toaster goes on or the coffee machine goes on as well and then you can see the use in the evening when the sun has gone um, there's no solar left and then we are using the grid in the evening which you know we're on only solar panels at the moment hopefully when the battery comes then we'll hopefully in the summer not be using hardly any grid um, and that battery will take over from any of that red sort of sections of the graph so after installing the My Energy um, Eddy for the hot water, at the same time I installed the Harvey and the Hub. I installed it myself. It was quite straightforward to be honest, uh, and I really love the systems. I bought extra CT clamps to clamp on the ones on the grid, uh, ones on the uh, solar PV side, and and obviously the Eddy reports what it's up to. And I've put another one on my Hypervolt as well. It really gives you um, one view of all of your system. And when the battery comes, I'll have a CT clamp on the battery as well so that I can see the whole system and not miss a thing. Um, it is really, really good. And it was kind of without that, you just would not be able to see um, what you're exporting unless you went downstairs and looked at the, the smart meter. Um, it, it does give you values, but it's not as good as what this system is. I can really thoroughly recommend this uh, My Energy system. So that was May. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll be back again next month with June's. See you then.